In this video, we'll demonstrate on using the indoor option rider in SNET to make changes to the installation option code on each piece of equipment. First, you want to click on the add-on tab in SNET. On the add-on tab, you'll see where it says indoor option rider. That's what you'll select. What we're going to do today is we're going to turn the chime off on indoor equipment. So to open this up so you can see better, DVMS equipment comes factory as you see the code written right now with segment number five as one allowing central control equipment to be used. First we want to hit the indoor option rider button. That brings up our option rider screen and then we're going to click this dotted button here and it brings up option codes that we can pick from. Segment five we want to still use to allow central control operations such as our DMS controllers. And down here we've got buzzer control, segment 17. We're going to disuse the buzzer so when commands, whether it be operation on or off or temperature changes, the buzzer doesn't make a chime noise as, as it does from factory. We'll click finish. It, notice that it writes it in installation code for you. All you need to do now is select what pieces of equipment that you want to choose from. In this case, we're just going to select all, hit right option, and then you'll see that it starts sending the, the command out to each piece of equipment changing the option code setting. Once the process is complete to all pieces of equipment that you would like to make a change to, download success will, set, will be shown. Next, close the window, go back to the indoor unit installation tab, scroll up and hit update. And you'll see the change that you've made go into that, to the equipment be shown. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you.